now in this class we will understand the various regions of the stress strain curve okay so stress strain curve as we have already seen is can be is used to express the relationship uh, between the stress applied on the object so this is this is the metal bar on which we are applying the stress we are pulling it and the uh, as a result of that there is a strain there is a uh, deformation or there is a strain produced inside this uh, particular bar it becomes elongated and finally develops a neck and then breaks so this relationship is exhibited exhibited by the stress strain curve and we are only concerned here about the ductile materials we are not concerned about the brittle and the plastic materials okay so for the ductile materials what we will be looking at is we will be seeing the various regions of of their stress strain curve so the very first region and this is the most important region in which there is a perfect elastic behavior for the uh, ductile material this is also known as hooke's law region and in this region the stress and strain are proportional in other words if i take the ratio of stress and divided it by strain then this comes out to be a constant for our case for the the case that we are looking at this would be the young's modulus okay the in the case of, of the change in length that we are measuring uh, that would be the young's modulus okay so this is the perfect region this is the perfect elastic behavior this is the hooke's law region and whatever i do in the hooke's law region if i uh, after that the material is still elastic till the point b what does that mean it means that till between the point o and b if i remove the stress for example in the case of this rubber band if i remove the stress then the material would come back to its original position after point b if i continue to apply the stress then material would reach uh, there is some permanent def uh, deformation which would start happening in the material its bo bonds probably would permanently break so after this point if i if i have taken the uh, material beyond point b and if i remove the stress then the material would come back to its a new position it would never come back to the original position o but would, it would come back to a new position o dash in in which even after removal of the stress there would be some amount of strain okay so the point b is known as the elastic limit this is the last point till which the material is purely elastic in, in, in that is it would revert back to the original condition between point a and b the material is elastic but it is not showing a linear relationship between the stress and strain so hooke's law is not applicable between point a and b even though the material is still elastic between o and a the material is elastic and hooke's law is applicable after point b the material has become plastic it will show exhibit start exhibiting plastic behavior in in in, in what that means it means that there would be some permanent damage that i am causing to the material if i have taken it beyond point b and it can never be able to come back revert back to its original position so those are the three important regions they are simply illustrated in this diagram okay so if you don't look at the complicated diagram we will look at this simple diagram and uh, we will understand it so proportional limit is where the stress and strain are proportional this is the hooke's law region between a and b the material is still elastic after point b it is the elastic limit in which the after which the material has become plastic after b this region is the plastic region okay till here after this we are after this point after this point then the material uh, will start developing neck and there is the failure so this is the failure region this is the failure region this material is started failing and between uh, point a uh, till point b this region is actually the uh, uh, elastic region this region here is the plastic region this is the elastic region and within the elastic region this is small region that we are seeing here this one okay this region this is small region in which there is a linear relationship between stress and strain that is the hooke's law region in which the hooke's law applies so hooke's law region elastic region plastic region and then finally this is the failure region so failure region 
okay so those are the four regions very very important if i deform the material beyond the elastic limit then there is some permanent deformation present in the material and that is known as permanent set and we will study that in another class okay thank you